Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft on the Radio Craft server. I am the Radio Man 03. It is great to have you along. It is a Sunday morning, and I'm out at the Witch Farm. CJ was out here too. We were doing a little AFKing. Had some server issues over the weekend, so I've not been able to do a whole lot of uh, Minecraft play. But uh, we're in here today, and hopefully things are going to work out okay for us. But I want we wanted to see just kind of how this is working out for us uh, in terms of the drops coming in. So let's take a look. I spent about... 10 minutes up here the other day and um oh wow yeah see that's working out just great look at the glowstone dust in here now bottles and then the server shut down and did not come back up at least not while i was on so there's some witches coming down right now just falling like crazy that's awesome so yeah it looks like it's working out pretty good we're gonna actually go back over to rook corner and um do some building over there on the wall i know i said i'd take care of the wall on my own but i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on it together so the witch farm is working great as long as you come out here and uh oh, wait it says wait wait what Oh, I think he wants me to check these other chests. Oh, there's even more stuff in here happening. So he's been taking it out and moving it around, it looks like. Awesome. Very, very cool. Very cool. Yeah. Excellent. All right, cool. All right, let's go back. So, yeah, there's even more stuff down there that we thought was down there. At least I thought was down there. So, yeah, the witch farm is working out great. Uh, we're going to go back, work on Rook Corner some more. There's that retaining wall all along the uh, side of the base that uh, out by the ocean. We want to get that taken there. Have at it. I know, right? Tons of glowstone now. Um, so let me get back over there. I'm going to get a few things put together in my inventory, and then we will move on from there. So stick around. Okay, we're back at Rook Corner, this retaining wall we put in. I've got a couple of the supports put in right now. We want them real bulky at the bottom because if you think about it, this is a huge, huge wall holding back a lot of land. Oh, also did prismarine blocks around the uh, water fountain up there on the wall. I think it looks a lot better. Uh, Heaven and Earth and Dom have created a um, uh, the uh, Guardian Farm. So I'll take you out there and show that to you sometime. Um, but here we've got our posts with the support there and there. On the corners here, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do. Something with uh, the cobblestone walls and slabs and stuff in those areas right there and along in there. But here, where we've got the big, big pieces that have to hold back all that soil and dirt, that's where we have um, our big supports. Yeah, he's not had any lag so far. I just had a big lag problem right here. The screen just got real jumpy and weird looking. So I was seeing if Heaven saw anything about that, if he noticed it as well. So here's what we're doing here. We're coming up like so, all the way up to the top each time. You could probably do this without having to drop and fall every time, huh? Just like this. And I want to put a couple of these together with you, and then I'll finish up the last one. We've only got one more we have to put in over on the other side, uh, right over here, around this one here. That's the only other place we need to put one of these big supports. And then we're going to do stairs along the edge here, and that's going to give us a little something extra that we can use to step up onto. I think it'll be kind of cool looking. Um, okay, and then down in the middle of these, we actually take these out all the way down, like so. And we're going to need our shovel... Let's take the shovel and do so. Like that. And then our bricks. We might as well go right back on up here. And this is going to give us a little dimension, a little depth to the build. So it's not just flat out there. We do like so. And then we're going to do that again right here. We have to take these out all the way down. And this here as well. Oh, there we go. that back down to the bottom and boom and then we hop right back on up and now we've got just a little bit of an indent here that's going to be really nice for us to put um, our cobblestone walls in here so we're going to take these and we've got a cobblestone walls where are those at right now right here right here okay and let's just drop down we're going to two there and then we're going to go like Hmm, it's not gonna let me do that. Okay, we'll go do we'll do it right from down here then. Come on. Nope. Get the top one in first. There we go, like so. 
It's all about getting the jump right, baby. Getting that jump right. All right. Hope everyone's doing great today. Great, great today. <laughs> Hope everyone's doing really well today. How about that instead? How about everybody? Oh, gosh, that's my axe. There we go. We don't want to throw that out. And then we're also throwing a couple of buttons. We're doing one here, like so. Uh, can I not get up on? I guess I can if I put a block down here first. There we go. We're putting uh, buttons right here. And we need one right here and one right here. And then we need a couple of slabs here. And the tricky, tricky jump. There we go. Boom, 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 like so. And that gives us a little indent here between the logs and gives it some depth. You see what I'm saying? If we put these right along here, we're not going to have that depth in there. So that's a nice little addition, I think, to it, is that little bit of depth. Uh, we need our axe back. We'll keep the buttons where they are. Get that out of there. And I'm off the platform again. There we go. And... Let's see here. Oh, it's getting dark soon. We're going to have to sleep pretty quick. Let's see. We're coming down one from the top. And like so. And like that. And like that. And that's it. Boom. Done. With those two posts. All we got to do is put the stairs at the top. Let's go ahead and take a sleep. And we shall be ready to cap off the top. There we go. Perfect. It's going to look really nice, I think. Um, it, when you're pulling up from outside the base here, you're going to see this really nice retaining wall along here that's going to hold everything together. So it should be really cool. I don't know if we can do this very uh, easily on this side here. Let's see if we can. We're going to come like so. I think if we go up here like this, we can. Yeah, we probably should be able to do this, right? Right from up here. Come on. There we go. Perfect. And then we got to do this again. And just like this, we're just going to kind of follow the contour of the wall here. This one's going to have to go right here like so. That's what it, I'm too close. That's what it is. Got it. Like that. And we'll go back out and like we always do, take a nice look at it and see what we got going on. See if it looks good. I think it will though. I think we're on the right track here with this this wall here. It's taking some time though to put these in. Because it's, you know, it's a slow going process. Too close still. And there we go. There we go. That's looking a little bit better, a little bit faster maybe. I know sometimes it can be torture to watch me build. That's not the right spot for that one. Get out of there. Get out of there. We're going to need that one back. And like that. And then boom. Now we're now we're at the easy part here. So I say. So I say. The easy part, huh? There we go. Oh, doesn't like me there. Oh, boy. <laughs> Sorry about this. Taking me a little while to get this down right. Come on now, let me do it. Oh, for Pete's sake, why won't it let me just put that in there? It's like it's it's I'm too close to where the block wants to go. All right, let me finish this up. I'll be right back. All right, we are underwater right now. Just kind of finishing up this chunk of the wall. Let's see. Let's take a step back. I think I've got it just about wrapped up here. Yeah, I've got that one started. That one there is finished. Looks like we have our buttons misplaced here, though. So let's get those buttons fixed up real quick. But this is going to look really nice as you pull up from outside. I think so. Let's get this one. We're going to take that one out of there. And this one needs to go up one more too. And this one up one more as well. And then we should be pretty darn good here. There we go. Up one more. There we are. I use the spruce logs just because they're a little lighter than the dark oak and we've got so much dark oak and so much gray that I think these add a nice lighter color to the build. So that's why I went with the spruce logs. Let's go here, here, and 
here. And then the only thing we have left, I believe, is to get the um, trim put on up top. What's going to be the easiest way to do this? Okay, so we're going to need some scaffolding. Let's do some scaffolding. I think that's going to work the best for us here. Yeah, let's do that. And our stairs. We don't have many stairs left. I'm going to have to probably go back and make some more. That's okay. Ugh. Stairs, man. They can be finicky, can they not? If you don't place it just right, it doesn't like what you've done. And that's going to go like so. There we go. Beautiful. Perfect. Nope, that's too far. This one's, nope, that's too far there. Then we're going to go like so. There we are, perfect. Just like that. Can we reach that over there? No. Can't reach it. Reach it now. There we go, perfect. Like so. that and like that there we go you get the idea huh you get the idea let's go sleep so what do you think of the fountain huh looks a little bit better i think with the prismarine the green it makes a, a nice contrast out here as opposed to just being gray like everything else is so i think it adds a lot of great look to it and then we'll add some foliage and stuff like that around it and it's going to look even better so yeah things are definitely coming together at rook corner up here in our our garden area and whatever else we decide to build up here it looks pretty good pretty good all right and so here we want to go we need to come out one more huh don't we all right let's let's keep following this contour with the grout with the dirt here And then we can get this all put in. Whatever stairs we have left, we can get put in. Like so. Scaffolding is always a great way to go about getting stuff done when you're working up high. There we go. Take the time to put it in, and then it, it saves you a lot of time in the end, I think. Unless you build like me. It takes you forever to get anything done. <laughs> there we go. So we need we need a, a bunch more. We need one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need about a dozen more or so of the bricks. And then we'll have a nice little rail right here as we walk along here. It kind of holds it up, blocks it off. And then we'll put something down here to kind of cover up these bricks. I don't know if we can get away with actually taking this brick out. No, we can't. That's going to have to be there. So we'll have to find a way to kind of disguise the brick up here. Maybe we'll do a brick border all along here and it'll just look like it blends in. So instead of it like being like that, we do like so. We take those out of there and we do something like that. There we go. See? That'll clean that up real nice. And we've got this here and this is our... We don't need that one there. We don't need that. So that can come out of there. Do like so. And yeah, we'll just do... We actually didn't need to take this one out. We do need this one out like that, and then like that, and like that. We just kind of trim this out a little bit up here. Oh, look at this. This is the perfect spawn point for a mob, huh? Definitely. Like that. We may even change these bricks out for something different. I don't know. We'll see. We'll have to wait and see. But perfect. Okay, so then we're going to do this here, this here, this here. Here, here, and like that, bam. Now it's as if it belongs here, correct? Trims it out real nice. Here, we'll probably do, let's, did I already check this to see? Yeah, we don't need that one there. We don't need this one here either. That's good for now. We'll do that. Yeah, we could do something in the walkway here. Obviously, we've got uh, I've got the um, coarse dirt, and we've got the pod soil and stuff like that. So as we move along, we'll we'll ex we'll hide some of this stuff here. I let's see if we've got enough stuff to make some more stairs. 
Looks like we have a little bit. We're gonna need some more. Oh, we don't need to do that. We need bricks. Let's try that again. Where'd they go? Where'd you go? There you are. That and let's do these, all of them up. Perfect. We need our stairs. Where'd they go? There they are. Perfect. Like that. Get down on our scaffolding again, and off we go. Nope. Trying to hurry here. Never a good idea for me. There we go. Perfect. And this tree is definitely going to be in the way. We'll have to do some chopping, I think. We'll probably take this one down and then replace it later with uh, with a different tree here. Uh, let's see. Let's get up here. All kinds of challenges. And one more there. And then we can actually do that right there and just kind of cap it off right there. This means mobs can walk up in here. I don't like that idea. Let's see if we can let's see if we can fix this so that the mobs can't get in here. Maybe we 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 turn it right here. There we go. Now the mobs should not be able to walk up here. And then we'll take and add this right here like so and boom now we've got ourselves an end where they can't get through here we talked about putting a water garden in so we don't have the different kinds of grass in here so this whole area right here will probably be, be some kind of a pond but in the meantime we'll take this stuff out and just kind of clean this edge up and make it look a little bit better we don't need all these here we do need that one there, and we take these out of here, bam, like so, boom, okay, good deal. All right, now, did we put the buttons down on this other end here? I don't know that we did. Let's see. Yeah, we got them on there. Perfect. All right. It's important to have a retaining wall like this. If you're going to have something this size holding back that much earth, you would have to have, you know, a substantial uh, supports to hold up all that, you know. Um. Oh, did you see that? that? Was that was pretty good? I like that. I'm impressed with myself there for that one. Let's get our dirt back. Come on, dirt. There you go. There we go. Let's head on out here and take a look. Woo! Look at the squid out here. Wow. Squid galore. All right, take a look at that. I think we could probably get right over here on Dom's dock here, the front yard, and take a look at it from a distance. Oh, there we go, huh? That looks better. We got one block out of place just there by my cursor. We got to take that one out of there. But otherwise, we have a good chunk of support now holding up that retaining wall. Now these corners here, these edges here, I think I've got a pretty basic, simple idea for that. And then we're going to do the mossy cobble and stuff like that down in here. But you can see i got these walls going all the way down to where they meet the bottom here. So it's it's completed. Good, good, a good amount of support going on there. Um, all right, let's see. We've got a few of these left. We're going to need the dirt. We don't need the wood anymore. We don't need these anymore. Okay, let's see what we've got going on here. Um, <laughs> Let's, let's tower up a little bit here. All right, let's see here. Maybe we come down like that. Oh, for Pete's sake. I knew I was going to fall off. It's okay. That's all right. We got our scaffolding now in. Okay, let's go like this. And let's do one more. Let's do a couple of these guys here. This is going to add a little more color out here too on the corners. 
instead of it just being plain and have a little more design out here I'm gonna throw this in and see if we're we're good to go with this like so all right and then we need a we need a little bit more of this over here let's go ahead and get ourselves another piece of scaffolding going I'm gonna have to be off of that to put the first one down there we go All right, let's go two more here, two more here, two more here. Beautiful. Like that. All right, and then we're, we're coming down one more time. Like that. I like it. I like it. I think it's going to be good. I have confidence in this. That and then here. 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 And there. And then we're going to do one down here at the bottom. Are we going to be able to do that everywhere though? Let's see. Let's get this dirt out of the way. Um, hmm. Okay, this meets up with ground and this does not. So let's go like that and that and that. And then we're going to do these two here. Like that. And then we're going to replace this stuff right here. Where's the where's my mossy brick at? Oh, we've only got four of those left. Right? Yeah. Well, we got the cracked stone as well, so we're good. Let's do that. Let's put one of these here, one of these here, one of these here. Mossy right there. Beautiful. And we'll continue this down. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so we need here and here and here. Take this out of here. Take that out of there. Come on, break. There we go. And let's get this one out of here too. That way it looks like it goes right down into the water. Oh, that's better, huh? That's a lot more design. That's a lot more design to that. Okay, good deal. Yeah. Hmm? I think that's good. So I need more stairs. I need more slabs and I need more cobblestone fences so we can do it over on this side here and then we're going to do the same thing right over here just a little bit well you know we, i don't know if we need it right here but we probably we will do the same thing right there so let me get that taken care of and we'll come back and look at the finished wall so stick around and there you have it retaining wall installed looks good looks solid looks strong looks like it's going to hold back that entire hillside and keep it from slipping into the ocean what i did was instead of leaving that one uh, cobblestone wall along here I took that out and I just did complete slabs on there to give it that lighter gray color and then you've got your mossy brick and your brick and then we've got these really nice solid spruce wood beams holding it up with you know the rivets holding those into the wall so I think that turned out pretty good now in between these little um these logs here, we could take and put a glowstone in there so there's a little bit of light on the front of the wall. So I think I'm going to do that as well. And we're going to have to take a look at this at night and see how it turns out. Uh, and where, where is the sun, by the way? Looks like it's getting ready to... It's probably back here behind Dom's house. So it's probably going to go down here pretty quick. But I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then when I come back, it's going to be nighttime. And we'll take a look and see just how the glowstone uh, lights up that front wall. I think it's going to look pretty cool and give a nice glow to it. So I'll be right back again. I think it's about as dark as it's going to get tonight. It's pretty difficult to tell if there's a glow on here because there are quite a few torches off on the edges, but uh, there are glowstone. You can see them right down at the base of each of these. There's a little bit of glowstone. I think we were doing this together. I think I showed that as I was doing it, but yeah, right in between each of those 
wood beams. There's a little bit of glowstone down there just to give kind of some glow. Um, these torches and stuff on the edge of the property will probably go away because we'll have so much stuff built up and around in here. We won't need the torches or we'll tuck them away and hide them so you can't see them. But yeah, there we go. There is the retaining wall. I think it looks good. I like it. I like it a lot. And it wraps around to the corner right there. And then that edge over there isn't a lot. So it really doesn't need much to support that edge of the wall back there along the walkway. So I think we're good there. And up here we'll do a little decor, but we don't need too much either there because it's just not necessary because it's not as big a wall. But this one right here, you know, uh, with this cove and stuff here and the water that would be back in here, you would need something substantial to hold back all that earth. So I think it turns out good. I think it serves a purpose and it looks like it serves a purpose. And I think it would look like it could actually hold back all that soil. So I think we're good. Yeah, I think we are definitely good. Guys, I want to thank you so much for your time. Like, comment, subscribe, and share if you see fit. Have an awesome, fantastic, and superb day. I'm the Radio Man 03, and I will talk to you again next time.